Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C square. In this example, we have AE bisect angle H A G. So this red ray bisect this angle. And that gives us two angles. And what is cool about these two angles? They are congruent their measure is the same. An angle bisector is a line, a ray, in our case a ray, or a segment that bisects an angle. It cuts the angle in half. So basically, I can start with this statement, angle H A E congruent with angle G A E. These two angles are congruent. Why? AA is the angle bisector. Now I'm going to write the same statement using the measure. The measure of angle HAE equals the measure of angles GAE. And these two statements represent the geometry of the problem. And now we're going to go to the algebra, the measure of angle H A E it's 4x plus 20 and the measure of angle G A E it's 6x plus 10. So now we have an equation, a multi-step equation. My first step will be to subtract 4x. Well, of course, you can do something else if you want to solve in a different way. And this 4x cancel out. We have 20 equals 6x minus 4x, that is 2x plus 10. The next step will be to subtract 10 to get rid of the plus 10. 20 minus 10 is 10 equals 2x. And again, we're going to find x. So the last step we're going to do divide by 2 because here we have multiplication. So we end up with x equals 5. And now let's see what the problem is. Ask us find the measure of angle h a E. So we have to do one more thing to solve this problem. Find the measure of angle H A E. If you remember the expression for this angle will be, was 4x plus 20. Right? So we have here 4 times 5 plus 20. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 20 it's 40. The measure of angle HAE is 40 degree. This one is this guy. You can do the same substitution for angles GAE of 5 and you're gonna see you get 40 you should get 40 because these two angles are congruent why because AE bisect the big angles AHG and in fact if you need to find the measure of angles HAG that will be double this one okay will be 80 let me write that here measure of angle HAG will be twice the measure of angle H A E. We don't need this in this problem, but just as an idea, in case you need it, okay, that is 80. Okay, but for our problem, this is the answer. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C square for more help. Thank you.